All right, everyone, how's it going? It is July 7th, 2024 right now. We are out here on the brand new Bodark Lake for the second time. First time we were here was back in probably April, I think. It was a couple weeks after it opened in March, but and it was really good. But there's a little tournament, North Texas Bass Open going on today. To my knowledge, it's the first tournament on this lake. Um, so we figured why not come fish it? see what we can do even playing field it's a brand new lake and the kicker is you're not allowed to keep bass over 16 inches you can only keep 16 inches and under so gonna be kind of a dink fest but hoping to be able to sneak out a win in this cool little tournament here so posted up on the bridge right now hopefully we can get a quick limit here and then kind of mess around if we catch a decent limit early we'll probably mess around and try to catch big ones the rest of the day so Y'all stay tuned. Hopefully it'll be a good one. Number two. That won't keep here. Probably. Do you want me to check him anyway, or? You got time? No, I don't care. He's over 19 inches. I'm not recording. Yeah. Good one, but not gonna keep three inches too big, three, four inches too big. Number three. <laughs> Got him? 
least. Like that initial drop. I literally ran up and over. Well, there's five. Not a pretty five, but there's five. Monster coals here, guys. <laughs> Keeper of the day. It's gonna yeah. be a big coal. Um, I want to say as long as it's still on, it's a coal ring without a bobber on it. Coal ring without a bobber on it is the yeah. one that needs to go. Yeah. That's the coal. Get rid of them. Woo. I need a couple more like that. Honestly, though, the rest of yours are pretty solid. They're not. I mean. They're obviously still most under, mostly under a pound, but they're at least 
they're at least, you know, 12 inches, 10, 12 inches versus, you know, not even half pounders, which is like the one I just released. I think maybe three of yours are over a pound. Yeah. Definitely two, maybe the third. And then the other one's probably right under. And that one I just bought. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What do we do? <laughs> huh? Yeah, they're all they're bass. <laughs> this one's too cold. Yeah. I don't think mine will. No, probably not. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Got a hook in my hand. Gotta get it out. Alright guys, double up on the drop shots. This one should call again, that one won't. There's the coal. Another little guy going back in. Whoop. It might help. I'll have to check him. It might help. He, he, he might be bigger than your smallest. What? Dare say Louisville. I'll agree with that one. But I'd rather put six on my head that one. got it. Megan? too big. Dude, he's smaller than yours. Yeah. Alright guys, unfortunately, also, not going to keep about an eighth of an inch too much. That sucks. It's still a good fish. It's been a good day.
skipper we need? Call number five, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's short. Alright guys, so unfortunately he's just a hair over 16. This would have been a perfect one to have. Fat, healthy. But there's one spot where he goes over 16, so fortunately we don't think that's a keeper. I'm gonna let him go. Do you want to do that? What do you think? He went over. Did you have his mouth pressed? Like up against the board when he went? Can you check him again? I'll check him over. He's got to go back. Dang it. That's a good one. Butterball. See you, bud. That's a nice last second call. Let's go. Alright guys, it's one o'clock right now. Scales are open. We don't have to be there till 1.30, but we gotta figure out if we got a weigh-in bag. So gonna go ahead and head in. Made six calls today, caught a limit, and then called six times. So feeling pretty good. The top four spots get paid out of 17 boats. We'll let you know how we do. All right guys, so as y'all saw, pretty cool day on Bodark Lake um, for only our second time out there. We didn't really practice for this tournament at all. So we were pretty ecstatic to catch what we caught. You know, we caught our best five in the tournament, uh, went 8.63 pounds, I believe, um, which, you know, Bodark is interesting because you can only keep bass 16 inches and under. There's a 16 inch maximum length on the lake for bass. So you can't keep anything over 16 inches. Um, so in that sense, it's kind of like fishing Lake Fork, right? And the slot on Lake Fork is from 16 to 24 inches. You're not allowed to keep any fish between that. So you can only keep under 16s and then one over 24. But the difference is at Bodark, you're not even allowed an over, you know, one over 24. It's just only five bass under 16 inches. So it kind of was like fishing Lake Fork uh, in a tournament, which we were excited for because we typically do pretty well on Lake Fork. Um, and we had a good bag, you know, 863. We typically average around eight and a half or nine pounds in the fork tournaments we fish, and we pretty much always cash a check with that, somewhere in the mid-teens. Um, but I guess just with it only being a 17-boat tournament, uh, there wasn't as much 
there wasn't as many spots being paid, right? They only paid four spots. So we ended up finishing eighth out of 17 boats um, with 8.63 pounds. I believe the top four were all over 10 pounds. I think first place was 10.98, and then it was like 10.70 something, 10.20 something, and then maybe right over 10 pounds. So all four of the top four spots that got paid had over 10 pounds on five under 16 inch bass. So that just shows how healthy the lake is, how healthy the bass in the lake are for them to all be that fat and weigh that much under 16 pounds is incredible. Um, but you know, we never really got into too many of those size fish. You know, we had three of them um, that we caught late in the day on the bridge that were up there. We just couldn't get rid of our uh, those other two little, little guys from the pond dam in the morning. I think if we had maybe gotten to the bridge an hour sooner, we could have given it a run um, at at least cashing a check. Uh, there was a lot of good fish on the bridge and uh, we caught several that were like 16 to 18 inches just barely over um, so that's the way it goes sometimes when you're trying to chase those little keeper bass like that but we still had a lot of fun i think we estimated that we caught like 25 ish bass somewhere in there so you can never complain when it's july 7th it's tough summer fishing and you catch that many fish in a day so boat arc is in really good shape it's fishing pretty good right now um, super excited to get out there again i'm actually going tomorrow with a friend from Instagram that I've been talking to recently. His name is Kevin. So I will be filming. If we catch him, y'all will see that video. So hopefully we do well enough tomorrow to make a video. But yeah, it was a cool day on Bodark. Uh, like I said, 28 to 25 bass uh, caught between the two of Ian and I, um, 863 on our limit. And we estimated that our best five keepers in a, in a normal lake, you know, where it's a 14 inch minimum, was somewhere in the 16 or 17 pound range. We had a four and a three and a half and just a bunch of other good two and a half to three pounders. So. It's a really fun day. We caught pretty much everything on a drop shot or an eco rig. The only fish that we didn't catch on a drop shot or an eco rig was that four pounder that Ian caught on a deep crank out on that main lake point. But it was definitely interesting. You know, we caught fish anywhere from three to 22 feet of water, but it seemed like the majority of the fish were hanging out between 12 and 18 feet deep, uh, especially on the bridge. It seemed like the pillars that were between like 12 and 18 feet of water definitely had the most fish. So most of the main lake points we stopped at, which we only stopped at two, but um, both of them had schools of bass on them. Um, so they're definitely starting to get offshore on that east side of the lake, east of the bridge. Um, and we never could really get anything going west of the bridge. We started there back in the, in the morning and uh, we, we had a couple bites, but they were all really small and they all jumped off. We couldn't hook them. Um, but we do, from what I, I gathered, it seemed like the tournament was won and most of the people that were above us in the tournament were on the west side flipping the timber. So we just kind of missed the memo on that. I'm hoping tomorrow, uh, me and Kevin can go up there and kind of explore the West Arm a little bit more and figure out what's going on on that side of the lake, just trying to learn the lake. So overall, really fun day. Boat Arc's fishing pretty good. And uh, if you haven't been up there yet, I definitely advise you to get up there. So appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Here we go at the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know, maxed out, put the pedal to the flow. Hey, on a roll. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we winning by a slide never see me coming on my landmine yeah i ain't taking orders in command